get inspired. Let's get inspired. Let's open up a new document. Let's open up a graph. We're doing a little bit of parametric graphing. The default's always function mode. So you always got to go to menu. And number three is graph entry. And this is where you get to choose what kind of graph you want to work with. We're doing parametric. Number four, click on it. X1 of T, let's make that two sine T. Now watch, if you do two sine T, now see how it's italicized, it doesn't recognize that. You gotta do parenthesis T. Boom. And see the sine stays normal font. And then let's do like four cosine of T. My T is gonna start at zero and go to two pi. My T step is 0.13. I can make it smaller if I want a, a better, a finer graph. You'll see when I graph this thing, it's a little, a little um, jumps around a little bit. So see, it's not a, it's not a perfect ellipse because that T step. I have to make it smaller if I want it to look better. But this gives you an idea of what's going on here. Um, I'm going to just grab, swipe this, grab the label, and just move it a little bit off. So I'm going to now trace this thing so you see where it's starting and where it's ending. Because right now, just this just shows you what it looks like but it doesn't show you where it started when t was zero and where and where how, what direction it went in so how you can do that is you hit man and you and you go to trace and you want to graph this and then i'm gonna, I'm gonna just hit hit zero like just type in let's go zero enter and that, that's where it's starting it's starting up there and then as you start to go around you just start clicking it and it's going around clockwise this case doesn't always go backwards, but it does in this case. And that's it. Yes, it's time to go drink some water. I will see you later. Goodbye.